Hello, magical people. So, I'm sorry I'm laying down. It's I've had a tiring day, and it's it's a lot earlier than I usually would go to bed, but I'm not going to bed yet, but I'm just laying here because I'm exhausted. So I'm talking to you. Not That's not why I'm talking to you, but you know what I mean. So today was callbacks for the Renaissance Festival, as you could probably tell by my still somewhat green eyebrows. <laughs> so, uh, my Enchanted Forest, or the Fae callback, uh, was at 9 a.m. in Kansas, so not that far of a drive for me, like 30, 40 minutes. Um, so, uh, we started off doing uh, some just some improv dancing stuff, and then we did the maypole dance, which I did really well, despite the fact some people messing it up, but I played it off in character, so that's nice. Um, so then after the maypole dance, uh, we delivered Puck's soliloquy in character with high print, with high amounts of volume, pronunciation, etc., etc. If we shadows have offended, think by this, and all is mended, that you are but slumber, dear, while these visions did appear, and this weak and idle themes, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend, if you pardon, we will mend. And if I am an honest puck, have I, as if I am an honest puck, if we have an earned luck now to escape the serpent's tongue, we'll make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and I shall restore amends. So I did that only a lot slower, and what much more in character. But those are the words. Um. So there was that, uh, and then we did uh, something that, because we've been preparing both of those two things, Maple Dance and the Puck Soliloquy for a while. Um, so, and then we did the thing where we have to convince Mother Gaia why we get to go to the, uh, or why we should get to go to the, uh, to Canterbury for the Harvest Festival. <sighs> and I think that's it. We also did a thing where we, because um, we usually do improv dances to, like, songs that are, like, you know, very musical and... Because the theme this year is like elements, so earth, water, wind, fire. But we <laughs> we did a goofy dance just to calm the nerves. So all the fae danced to, um, what does the fox say? And it was the best thing in the world. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so that happened. I feel like I've got Tareen pretty well locked down for myself. Um, as far as the audition goes, uh, can, due to the fact that nobody else auditioned for Tareen, I think I may be getting the part, but I'm not going to be like, I got the part. I'm feeling confident that I did very well, and I have a good run at that role. Um, so then after, after, uh, Faye, callbacks, I had royal court callbacks, because we had... We have a little callback sleep slips because we did auditions on Thursday. I'm pretty I don't remember, but I think I vlogged on that day. Oh, I vlogged in the morning of that day, I think, if I remember correctly. But I had my Enchanted Forest callback today. I had my I just threw that on the floor. Whoopsies. And then after that, there was the Royal Court callback. Ugh, I'm gonna have to get up. Ugh. So I went, and I was the jester. Was the role that I was auditioning for. I'm gonna. Chuck my leather jacket on the ground along with my keys. So I was auditioning for the role of the jester. And apparently, I did pretty well. Because, um, the maestro, or the gentleman in charge of the entire shebang, um, called me out individually several times, and, um had me just joking around several times. Like, and there's a part where everybody was singing, and then he called me out for, like... He called me out to, like, sing individually and do it seriously, because I was joking around as the jester. But he wanted to see if I could sing, so he said, first time around, um, first time around, uh, do it serious, and they say, like, okay, now joke around. <laughs> and part of the, um... Part of the, um... Uh song was like you we I you whatever whatever you we I we and I was like me I you me you know whatever this, I don't remember the words it was not particularly English so but I was joking on there and then I'd beatbox and be like like people were saying I'd be like you know just doing that sort of stuff fun times so uh 
That was that was that was nice. And afterwards, um, the king, accompanied by the queen of the fair, pulled me aside and gave me a nice five to ten minute spiel about, you know, I, I think it started off with, what do we have to do to convince you to be jester? You know, like, like we want you for this role sort of a thing. And, you know, he gave me the pros, cons, of, not cons, he gave me the pros of, like, you know, you're sort of going to blend in if you're in the Fae, but, you know, you get to stand out, and you get to be, like, up with the king and queen, and you get more opportunities and whatnot and so forth. A whole lot of things that I had considered, but not as strongly. So, he essentially made the jester role seem much more appealing than it was before, and I, I really had a fun time. And it's not that hard to do. I didn't feel like I was challenged. I was just being myself, so that's nice. So it wasn't a challenge at all to do the jester. It was just my regular goofy self. So, that's a thing. But, despite all of that, I'd still prefer Tareen over the jester. So... <sighs> yeah. So, I'm trying to think, can't think. My brother's home, he was gone for three months in an internship in New York, and now he's back, so. Yep. What's up, dude? Uh, howdy, my dude. How is everything? I am exhausted. Yeah? Yeah. Did you put this in my room? Did I what? Put this in my room? I did not. It ended up in my room. Well... And I work tonight, and I'm giving it back to you. Cool, cool. Um, something I want to point out to you. Yeah. It doesn't work. Oh, fun. Um, so you can get the battery changed. I'm Just sure. go to the so, mall, so and either of the... I've got, a, I've got a couple of watch batteries in my drawers for it, so I've already got some. I just need to actually... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah and if it. that doesn't work, the... the I don't remember if it's Zales or whatever, Hellsberg, the one behind Applebee's in the mall. Yep. They will do it for like $5. Yeah. Um, but... I've already got the batteries for it. But yeah, it was, in, it was on the shelf in my room. Mom said she may have put it there when she was cleaning up your room or some shit like that. Probably. But I was like, undoubtedly, he didn't just give that to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm fairly certain that I do. Yeah. Be right back. Awesome. Thank you very much. So yeah, um, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself, and I and I've even got my back is itchy. I've even got more callbacks tomorrow. I've got callbacks for Village tomorrow because the role I'm going for there is the Mad Hatter. So I'm gonna have fun with that. Uh, I don't think I told you guys about. Um, I don't think I told you what I did for the audition because the audition eh, I'll talk about it later. I'll see if I talked about it already, and if not, I'll talk about it later because it was it was pretty funny. The plague victim thing it was great. Um, so yeah, I'm freaking exhausted, so I'm going to bed despite it only being 9.24 p.m. and not much later. And I bought Mass Effect Andromeda, so that's cool. I've got that now. <sighs> so yeah, thank you all for watching me, my magical self, and I will see you all in the next video.